We are in Lesson 7, Conversion Tables for Length, Mass, and Capacity Units. Go ahead and check out your learning goal and rate yourself before we move on. And we've talked mostly about metrics. Now we're going to also talk about standard units. So one pound is worth 16 ounces, one yard is three feet, and one foot is the same as 12 inches. Please write this down because you're going to need this in your notes. So pounds to ounces. So remember, one pound, as in your notes, is 16 ounces. So one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Well, what about two pounds? Well, you have two groups of 16. Two times 16 is 32. What about three pounds? Well, you have three groups of 16. So you'd have 48. What about four pounds? I'm going to have to do this one to the side because I don't know it off the top of my head. Six times four is 24. Four times one is four plus two. We have 64 here. Okay, five pounds. How many ounces? Well, 16 times five because it's five groups of 16. Six times five is 30. Five times one is five plus three is eight. So we've got 80. All right. If we've got six pounds, how many ounces do we have? So 16 times 6, 6 times 6 is 36, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 96 ounces in 6 pounds, and 7, so 7 times 16, 7 times 6 is 42, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11, so we have 112, okay? So the rule for converting pounds to ounces is multiply by 16. All right, yards to feet. So in your notes, you saw that there are three feet in a yard. So one yard has three feet. Two yards has six feet. Three yards has nine feet. Four yards has 12 feet. Five yards, 15. I think you're seeing a pattern. Six yards is 18. And seven yards is 21. So the rule for converting yards to feet is multiply by three, because one times three is three, two times three is six, three times three is nine, right? Feet to inches, so in your notes, one foot is 12 inches, two feet, 24 inches, three feet, 36, four feet, 48, five feet, 60, six feet is equal to 72. 7 feet is equal to, oh, I don't know, 7 times 12 off the top of my head. 7 times 2 is 14, 7, 8, 84 inches. So the rule for converting feet to inches is multiply by 12, right? All right, homework. I would like you to complete the following table. Please use your notes. It will help you. Thank you for your hard work, and before you go, Please make sure you rate yourself. I'll see you tomorrow.